Hey, my name is Alex and welcome to Natural Mobility. Today we're going to be talking about breathing. I'd like to talk about breathing generally in daily life as well as breathing and movement and the way they should be synchronized when we're looking at dynamic movements as well as when we're looking at passive movements like stretches. First, let's look at general daily life considerations for breathing. First of all, you want to try and breathe through your nose as much as possible. There's a lot of evidence right now that shows a lot of benefits to breathing through the nose and a lot of detriments to breathing, especially inhaling through the mouth. One factor is that the paranasal sinuses actually produce nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. That means that dilates the blood vessels in our lungs and allows us to absorb more oxygen. Your blood is more easily oxygenated when you're inhaling through your nose. Another factor to keep in mind is that when you're breathing through your mouth, you're creating an environment that is perfect for the proliferation of bacteria. That's not just bad for your mouth, but your throat, your stomach, and ultimately your gut biome. Those are just a couple of examples that stand out to me, but there is a lot of evidence out there that supports the benefit of nose breathing and the detriment of mouth breathing. I'm not here today to get into the details of the science of the subject, but if you are interested, there's a really great book that you can check out. One more general factor that I like to emphasize is silence when you're breathing. You shouldn't really hear like that. It means that the oxygen that you're taking in is encountering a lot of friction. Usually when people breathe shallow by default and they try to breathe deeply, it is very loud and audible. They're trying to take in oxygen very fast and intensely. You don't want to have that intensity of your inhalation. The more quiet, the better. And what that means is if you're having a conversation and talking to someone, you might have to pause a little bit more in between breaths. There are five different contexts in your day that you want to think about breathing through your nose and breathing silently. One is when you're at rest. Another is when you're eating. Another is when you're having a conversation with someone. Another is when you're exercising. And the last one is when you're sleeping. Most people breathe through their nose no problem when they're resting. But a lot of people breathe through their mouth when they're eating and almost everybody breathes through their mouth when they're talking. If you're not making special consideration, you're most definitely breathing through your mouth when you're exercising. And who knows what happens when you're sleeping. Those first four factors are things that you can remind yourself. When it comes to sleeping, that's something you have no control over. And even if you think you probably sleep all night with your mouth closed, there might be a whole hour where you're spending breathing through your mouth and not getting enough oxygen to your brain. One thing that can help is just putting a little piece of tape Microporous medical tape works really well, but just in front of your mouth. That's what I would suggest. It seems really weird, but I do it every night, and there's a lot of people who do it every night. And in that book that I recommended, they also recommend this practice as well. This is the first video in a three-part series, so be sure to check out the follow-up if you found this helpful. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.